Tony Beats Net Worth, From Yukon's Depths to Millionaire Heights. If you're anything like me, you often find yourself wondering how much the actors on reality TV are getting paid. However, I'm not curious about Kim Kardashian or Caitlyn Jenner. I'm curious about Tommy Beats and other celebrities. Beats is an honest man who also happens to be the main character on the Discovery show Gold Rush. Beats and his clan are gold miners, and the show centers on them. If you get the chance, you should definitely watch it. Gold is worth a lot, of course, but how much has Discovery added to Tommy Beats' fortune? Tommy Beats' net worth. Tommy Beats was born in the Netherlands and now lives in Canada. He's a miner and he's also on a TV show called Gold Rush. He's worth $15 million. Tony was born on December 15, 1959, in a place called Wittings in the Netherlands. People know him because he's on Gold Rush, which started in 2011 and is still on TV. This show is really popular on the Discovery Channel. It's exciting because of the big personalities on the show and the intense things that happen at a gold mine. The website for Gold Rush says Tony is a very important and exciting miner. He's known for being very lively, and he runs a big mining operation. Tony uses strong language a lot. So on the TV show, they often have to cover up what he says. In his hometown, they gave him a funny nickname, Tony Peep, because of this. How much land does Gold Rush Tony own? Tony Beats grew up in the Netherlands and started his career working with machines. Later, he became a very successful gold miner in a place called the Klondike. He's married and has four kids, and three of them work with him in their family business. Tony has made a lot of money from being on the TV show Gold Rush. But people are curious about how much land he actually has in the Klondike. Some fans on Reddit say that Tony doesn't really own the land there but he has the rights to use it. This means he can mine there. He has a claim to two places called Paradise Hill and Scridner Creek. Paradise Hill is about 42,000 square meters big. Fans also say he has 163 mining claims in an area called Tamarack slash Tony Indian Rivers. That's a lot of land for one person's company to have. But Tony is very rich and successful from Gold Rush, so he wants his mining business to be as big as possible. Tony Beats Television Career As far as the media is concerned, Tony Beats hasn't been on the radar for very long. It took some time for his career to take off, but now that it has, he is quite successful. About 25 years ago, Beats left his life as a gold miner in South America for a new one in Canada. He takes great satisfaction in his Viking heritage, in fact, many refer to him simply as the Viking. His entire family is employed with Beats crew in Paradise Hill. Beats have been mining reality for years before it was picked up by TV producers who wanted to make a show about him and his family. It was around that time that the gold rush began. The Discovery Channel original series premiered in 2010. People all across the world have been checking in frequently to see Beats, his wife, and three youngsters live their lives. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you.